Hello and welcome back to Cisco Adaptive Security Virtual Appliance on Azure video series. This is part two of the video series. Uh, before this uh, video, we created another video where we talked about Cisco ASAV offering for Azure. We also covered licensing and various deployment models. In case you have not viewed that video, I request you to go ahead and view that video before starting off with installation of ASAV. Before I install Cisco ASAV on Azure, I'll talk about Cisco uh, Azure portal and marketplace and how to browse Cisco ASAV image. And then I will showcase step-by-step -step installation uh, procedure of Cisco ASAV. So I'll go ahead and uh, pause this video and uh, straight away take you to Azure portal and uh, show you step-by-step -step installation procedure of Cisco ASAV. Welcome back. We are now connected to portal.azure.com. On this dashboard, on left-hand side, you have new button. Click on it. Search for Cisco ASAV. Hit enter. Please use Cisco ASAV BYOL for NICs. This version of ASAV will give you four NICs and you have option of uh, using your own license. BYOL stands for bring your own license. On this page, you can uh, read about Cisco ASAV. Uh, once you're done with this reading, you can click on create. On this uh, basic settings page, I'm going to mention VM name, username. And when you specify password, make sure that it matches the password complexity requirement. Select your subscription. Then um, you need to create a new resource group. So as a requirement from Azure, any ASAV that is deployed requires a new resource group. However, if your requirement is to deploy ASAV in an existing resource group, we can do that using template deployment, which I will cover in next video. So for this video, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna create a new resource group. So I'll name it as uh, uh, 104 RP. I will select location as East US. I'll click OK. Now I will go ahead and select VM size. So we offer uh, standard D3 V2 uh, version 2. So I'll go ahead and use that. Storage account, we can create a new storage account or use any existing storage account. So I'm gonna use my existing storage account for this video. This static IP address is mapped to um, a management interface address and will be used by, um, by, by administrator to access um, this firewall from outside or from internet. So I'll just name it as uh, ASAV104-IP. I'll use static IP address for this. You can use dynamic as well. Now I'll go ahead and uh, specify DNS label. Make sure that you specify DNS label, otherwise you won't be able to access your ASAV. Now uh, we need to specify uh, VNets. So you can use any of your existing VNets as well, or you can go ahead and simply uh, click on create new. So uh, I'll just name it as 104RP dash vnet I'll just use um, 10.16.0.0 slash 16 then I will configure subnets so I'll name my first interface as MGMT interface I'll just use it as slash 24 this is going to be my inside interface I'll just use it as 1.0 slash 24 I'll name uh, sec third interface as DMZ interface I'll just name I'll just do it as 2.0 slash 24 third interface is going to be DMZ2 
or rather fourth interface so I'm going to use it as 3.0 slash 24 so I have all uh, subnets and uh, na name of the interfaces defined so I'll just go ahead and click OK so once I'll click OK um, it's gonna show me um, the configuration that I have uh, defined so I'll just click OK here on this summary page it's gonna sh it's gonna show all the uh, configuration parameters that I have added once it is validated I this um, OK button would be available so I'll just click OK after clicking on OK and once the validation is done you will be taken to purchase page so um, this process can take up to uh, 30 seconds based on the um, a location in which uh, you're working so let's go ahead and wait for this so now you can read the uh, terms and conditions and then click on purchase so now on right hand side you will see uh, this option submitting deployment and deployment started so now um, this uh, ASAV is uh, getting deployed in Azure and this process can take up to um, uh, two to three minutes so uh, we'll, we'll click on this button right there and you can review all these steps uh, which uh, it is doing in the background it is deploying the public IP address deploying the image setting up storage so everything uh, can be seen here so we'll just uh, go ahead and and current status of uh, is deploying and uh, uh, it started five seconds ago so we'll we'll go back to um, our dashboard and wait for uh, this deployment to complete in the meantime I'll go ahead and uh, pause this video and back again once it is deployed welcome back now deployment is complete you can go to this bell icon it is a notification icon you can review your deployment um, logs so um, this log says uh, deployment um, succeeded so you can see all logs here now you can go back to uh, the dashboard and click on this resource group which was created by deployment script so under this resource group we have this um, vnet we have this ASA so I'll click on ASA just to get the management IP address So IP address is auto populated here so I'll just maximize my terminal window as well in the meantime while that is getting pulled up so I'll use this uh, command uh, SSH and this this is uh, the command to use the ciphers so I'll just go ahead and uh, type username which is my username at the rate and then I will specify IP address 40.76 dot 95 dot 76 I'll hit enter I'll just uh, type yes to accept my uh, RSA keys so now I'll just type in my password now I'm connected to my ASA enable password is blank I'll go to config T I'll type show IP Interface um, management zero has this IP address 101604 which is pre-assigned so I'll go ahead and type interface gig02 I'll type if, uh, name if inside security level security level 100 IP address 1016 zero or one because that this is the next interface four two five five two five five zero I'll type no shut interface gig zero one name if DMZ I'll just give it a security level 50 IP address 10.16. 
slash 24 no shot interface gig 0 slash 2 name if dmz1 ip address 10.16.3.4 slash 24 no shut now I can see IP address which I have assigned on all the interface so we have assigned IP addresses on all interfaces and now I'm gonna save this uh, config using right map so in this video we have covered how to look for a Cisco ASAV image in Azure and how to deploy Cisco ASAV stay tuned for our next video and thank you for watching